Alright guys, welcome to another tutorial video. Um, it's been like a month or something uh, since I uploaded the last one and I'm sorry for that delay. Um, so yeah, t just today someone asked when's your next vid coming out and uh, as you can see uh, I wrote the answer down there. But it's basically because I'm writing my so-called Facharbeit at the moment and um, I guess in, in the US or in the UK as well it would be called uh, thesis or coursework. And yeah, that um, just takes some kind of time and I have been slacking off a little bit with videos as well. So I apologize for that, um, but definitely I'm not stopping or anything, so don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, what do we want to talk about? Um, oh yeah, actually, we wanted to talk about that no, no, no vegans can actually be funny. I didn't know that before, um, at, at least this guy thought <laughs> I didn't know it before um, so uh, yeah today we want to talk about how to use the dialog class from scene to D you dot UI in libgdx um, because it's a pretty useful li little class but you have to subclass it in order to actually use it and that seems to confuse some people um, so what we have here is basically nothing um, it's just like a, yeah it's normal screen that is tends to screen adapter this time um, for I didn't talk about the screen adapter yet it's just um, a class <laughs> that implements the screen and does nothing. So basically, like game, ju I I basically like the input adapter. And yeah, it has the stage and the skin, and we use uh, the skin here to yeah create it. Um, we set the stage viewport and we draw. But as it is right now, nothing happens. So let's just have a look at the nothing. And yeah, as you can see, nothing happens. So let's put something in there. We want a dialog to pop up. So um, the funny thing about the dialog is that we, we can actually do it without even subclassing it um, like for real. But let's let's start doing uh, creating our own subclass of the dialog, um, not anonymous, so we just have it in a way we are more used to have it, and it just looks a little bit tidier. So we're just going to create a class here. Let's actually make it static. Uh, where you put it, it's your choice. But I'm just going to put it right here and let's call it exit dialog and that extends the dialog. And yeah, we have to import it obviously and we have to add some constructors. I'm just going to add all the constructors uh, because why not? And then we can override some methods. So we can override, um, w w we definitely should override the result method because that's what it's all about. The result method is called when the uh, cancel or OK or any button that you add uh, is clicked. So right now this, this dialog doesn't have any buttons, but if it had, the result method would be called if we click one of these. So let's actually go and add some more constructor code. And in case you didn't know that, in Java you can put like these just brackets, not no method declaration or constructor declaration or anything. Um, and they will just be executed no matter which constructor is executed. So if, if we use this constructor, anything inside here will be executed if we use this one and if we use this one as well. Um, so let's just put in there what this exit dialog should look like. And um, instead of actually adding everything to the table itself, we have a few uh, useful methods for that. Um, but yeah, let's just get a little, a little overview of the dialog because the dialog is actually a window and a window is actually a table again. So as many things in scene 2 dot UI, um, it's a table, and we'll add stuff to it. But the dialog also has a content table and a button table. But we don't really, really have to worry about that. Let's just go ahead and use a few of these, um, yeah, useful methods. So the first one is simply called button, and what it does, it uh, it creates a button. So we can pass a button in there if we already have it. We can pass just the string in there we can pass the string and the object in there and we can pass a string, the object and text button style in there, uh, whatever. Let's just go with passing in a string and we'll just say yes and we'll create another button that says no because yeah, you, you want to leave and no, you don't want to leave. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, we could also say text and we can pass a label in, a, 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 a string with text button style or just a string. I'm always going to use the easiest method and that is just passing in a string. Something like, do you really want to leave? 
So that already looks pretty simple and that's what this whole dialog class is for. So if we press the yes or the no button, the result method will be called. Um, okay, so now that we have this little, ne little nice class here, let's actually create an instance of it right here in the show method. And we'll just say new exit dialog. Actually, we, um, we will uh, cre create a new exit dialog like this, local variable. Um, exit dia or something and new exit dialog. And now this takes a string for the title and the skin. Or well, you see it here. You can also pass in a window style or the 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 window style name. But we have everything in the skin here. So um, let's just say we want this to have the title confirm exit. And I'm just going to pass the skin in like that. So. Uh, the only thing that's left to do is to actually make it pop up on the screen. But let's just have a look at it and then nothing again. There it is. So at least everything compiles and runs. Um, now what we have to do is uh, usually if you want to add something to the stage, you would do this like stage, but add actor and put the exit dialog in. And you can do that. It's going to work just like this. But you see that it's kind of not really, really very pretty. Um, I'm not sure if you can read everything, but yeah, it's saying the things that we said. And as you can see, everything is already aligned in this content and button table. Here, uh, down here, there's a button table. Here's the content table. And it's just looking neat. So, um, yeah, that's not really, really good. At first, that we can't see all of the text. And um, it spawned down there in the bottom left corner. So, instead of saying stage.addActor, we can also say exit dialog dot show stage and what this does is if we hover over it we can see um, it packs the dialog and adds it to the stage centered so yeah the result is pretty neat it's packed and it's centered in the middle of the stage so um, yeah that's actually the same as saying exit dia dot pack then adding it to the stage manually and centering it manually, but that's all done in the show method, as you can actually see if you just, uh, yeah, it does a little bit more stuff, but yeah, <laughs> that's basically what it does. So now that you have the dialog showing on the stage, let's actually see what's with this result method now. I said the result method is the important part, um, so let's actually try it out. Let's just print out the object that we get, and I'll just press yes, click yes, and we see, oh great, null, so we don't get an object passed in here in the result method. Um, that's absolutely great or not, but on no, we also get null. So right now, we don't really have anything that's being passed in here in this result method. So you might be asking yourself, what is this for? So now the one of the things that you could do is, for example, um, here in the button methods, uh, we can give it an object that is going to be passed into the result method. And um, that's actually one of the options here. So if we just have a look, here we see that we can pass a button and an object in, or the text and the object. And this object is the object that's going to be passed into the result method if the button is clicked. So let's just say we pass a string in there, something like, yes, uh, then um, see you next time and for no uh, pff, enjoy your stay because he's staying or something doesn't matter anyway and um, now if we press the yes we see that the object passed into the result method right here was see you next time and if I press on no, if I click no I see enjoy your stay so that's what this object does that's passed in here now um, that's already the basic functionality but let's do something let's do it the way that I actually <laughs> uh, like because it's like an anonymous class and let's just do it in a way that's like really um, short so yeah since this is really simple let's just let's just actually no, why would you get rid of it? Let's just say um, new dialog, and we are going to create a new an anonymous class. Um, and yeah, I need to uh, give it the title confirm exit. 
and the skin. And then I'm going to call show on the stage. So the dialog is shown on the stage. And I'm going to put this um, universal constructor, whatever it's called in here, and the um, result method is going to be overwritten as well. And it's going to the, the do the exact same thing. Um, well, no, not really. That's boring. Um, let's say text again. Um, really exit. I'm tired of writing now. Button, yes. Goodbye. Button, no. Uh, let you stay. Okay. So now we have the, the exact same thing, basically. Uh, let's execute it. Well, we are not using the, the exit dialog class anymore. Uh, to prove that, let's just actually comment it out. So, yeah, we don't use that anymore, and it still works. Um, there we go again. Um, confirm exit, really exit, yes. And, well, we don't do anything in the result method yet. Really exit, no, we can click it, blah, blah, working fine, cool, great. Um, so now on the result method, um, let's actually call another dialog that just prints out this message here. I, I know it doesn't really make too much sense and it's just a hell for the user because he has to close all of these dialogs, but I don't care. I'm an evil developer. I'm going to just do this. So um, let's create a new dialog. Again, it's an anonymous class inside a method of an anonymous class, uh, anonymous exception, and show that on the stage. Um, there's still something missing. All right. Uh, message or something. Let's just get, not give it a title at all and say, uh, yeah, skin. So this is going to say, um, text object. So since we don't know that the object is a string, let's just convert it to a string like this string plus object, um, which has to be final then, because we're using it inside an anonymous class. Uh, but we could also, as maybe a little bit more professional, object dot to string. Okay. And then just a button that says okay. Let's restart this and we'll see that it works, I guess. So confirm exit, really exit, I click yes, and it gives me this goodbye here. I click no, and it says let you stay, and well, I'm staying. Um, so okay, that's the really short dialogue uh, tutorial that has been requested, I think, like two times. Um, and yeah, have fun bashing the user with dialogues and writing your game, and yeah, um, nothing more to say. I think the food is ready. Uh, goodbye, see you in the next video.